um, subconsciously every time I delete a video test before I make a video because I make these video tests now so that the video is not choppy every time I delete that video the default video that it, the program goes back to is a video of me and Amanda sitting there so it's like subconsciously blips in my mind every time I just realized that just now I just said that out loud I think I realized it before but I said it out loud just now I'm about to make some pancakes but before I do that I wanted to Kiff just came over and was like hey you you know what you should do is I mean we were talking but this came up while we were talking and you know what you should do is get on one of the, get on a reality TV show and he said it before a couple times in the past and I thought about it but I've never really thought about it it's like one of those reality TV shows because you just you know be yourself and and uh, at the auditions to just tell them like you know I, I call, if, I, if people are being phony I, I you know I call them out and I'm, I'm not interested in pretense and uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it would, be, it would be crazy because it would cause so much conflict because there'd be so many people. That would be intense. And that'd be cool and that'd be fun. And that'd be like acting without the, the pretense of the acting of like, you know, doing the takes and the scenes and... Which is ultimately, I think, what I don't like about acting. What, what about it that really... I like, uh, I don't know, maybe that's, it's just, maybe, maybe it's, just, I don't know, I don't know, because I enjoy doing it, but it's, I feel like it's, I feel like I want to cry right now, it's like letting go of something. Because it is, it's the, it's the scenes and the reading, the lines, the fake lines, the words that are fake. I guess that's the test, is to put the emotion behind the words because the words don't matter. But I just would rather it be direct. I don't like passive communication. And that's what I think of art as. That's why I don't think of these video blogs as art, although it's just a bunch of labels. This is a passive form of communication like that, but it's because you're not directly confronting anything. It's just you in a room, but you're still confronting yourself out loud, which I think is the most effective way to confront yourself, not through painting a picture about it or by writing it down or by singing it. It's, well, singing it is powerful. That's crazy. I just made the singing video and it all came back to that singing is powerful but speaking with eye contact is the most powerful thing that I have ever experienced than listening with eye contact which is just as powerful so no speaking is more powerful That's why it's dangerous. That's why it can get out of hand. And that's why most people just do that. Because the listening is not quite as powerful. But the listening is almost as powerful. So we just have to listen. It's like the step. As soon as you start doing it, as soon as you start being aware that a lot of times people will speak and will talk over them. As soon as you realize it and catch yourself in the act once, even con and subconsciously say it out loud, everything changes. And then all of a sudden you're listening. And there's no shame in not listening because every human experience is, a, is just part of the, the process. I'll uh, see you later, I was going to say, and then I decided why was I going to say that. Now I have my video up and there's all this self-conscious activity. Why? Why does the end of the video bring the self-conscious activity? No, I'll allow for it. There is no subconscious activity. Or if there is, I'm, I'm tuned into it.
because there's nothing other than this moment right now. I suppose that's how I should end my videos, but I still have a little bit of nervous energy. I still want to cry. Why is the body have such a hard time opening up?